Factoring a quadratic in two variables with leading coefficient greater than 1. We're asked to factor this quadratic and it does have both an x and a y variable. In a previous video of one variable we showed both the AC method and trial and error. For this example I'm just going to do trial and error. So that's the method that we're going to use. Now we know the form, once it's factored, the quadratic is going to factor into two binomials and the leading term in each one of those uh, binomials is going to come from the leading term in the quadratic. So since it's 2x squared, we really only have one choice of factors that are going to multiply to give me 2x squared. It has to be 2x and x. However, for the last term, the 15y squared, that's what we're going to use to find the last term. But we do have a couple of choices because the 15y squared, we can use either a 1y and a 15y, kind of like we did with the 2x and x, or we could use a 3y and a 5y. Now, since it's a positive 15y squared. We know that the signs have to be the same and they have to be the same so that eventually things are going to add up to the middle term which is our positive 11xy. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my pluses since I know those signs. And now we're just going to plug them in and see which combination works. So first let's try the well let's try the 1y and the 15 y. When we plug those in, both positive, the inner gives us a 1xy and the outer gives us a 30xy. Well those are not going to add up to the 11xy that I need in the middle, so I'm going to erase those and just assume that that was our error, that the 1y and the 15y didn't work for us. So let's try flipping them around because that's also a possibility. We can try the 15y here and the 1y here and now we get a 15xy and on the outside we get a 2xy. Again when we add those up we do not get our 11xy. So this is another error. This is a possibility that we tried, but having tried it, we see that it does not work. So let's erase all of that. So the 15 and the 1 did not work. So let's try the 3y and the 5y. If I put the 3y here and the 5y here, we'll have to try this combination, which gives us a 3x y and then on the outside gives us a 10xy again unfortunately not adding up to our 13xy but there's one more possibility we have to switch the 3 and the 5 and we'll see if that works so switching the 3 and the 5 we will put the 5y over here and the 3y over here and this time the inside gives me a 5xy the outside gives me a 6xy and finally we find the right combination that adds up to our 11xy that we need for the middle term so this is our factor.